Right, okay, the next test we're going to do is uh, insulation resistance test. We're going to do that between all three conductors. So, again, we use the same tester, which is our Fluke 1653. And what we do is we actually take it from continuity over to insulation resistance. We can see here we can change the test voltages. And because this is a new insulation um, running at uh, low voltage, uh, we're going to test at 500 volts. Uh, you've got to be a little bit cautious sometimes for sensitive equipment um, that's on the circuit, such as computers, because uh, the higher the normal uh, voltage can actually damage the equipment. So we've changed our test leads. We've now got uh, two crocodile clips on the end of our test leads. And again, as with most tests, we want to make sure that uh, our test is working. So we'll put our crocodile clips on there. We'll press test on there. We can see it's come up at 0 0.07 mega ohms. That's basically a dead, um, dead short. Then open up our test leads. Do the same test, and it should come up over 500 mega ohms. You can see the bottom right-hand corner that that's the current test voltage, 526 volts DC. Okay, so what we need to do first of all is test between our light, sorry, our earth or CPC and line conductor. So if, when I press the test button it's going to put a voltage down these two cables and what we're looking for is over 500 mega ohm. Again there's no change in the uh, reading on there which is a good indication that uh, the circuit is in good condition. We'll repeat the same thing between our earth or CPC in neutral. Again, same 500 mega ohm reading and our neutral and uh, line conductor. Again, over 500 mega ohms. Um, the wiring regulations BS7671 recommend a minimum value of 1 mega ohm.